be in this world as though you are a stranger or someone who is just passing by. Because although as Muslims, if we are trialed in this dunya, we know that this dunya is temporary and our real home is Jannah. That is the goal we should all be striving for. Inna wa'adallahi haqq, Allah's promise is true. فَلَا تَغُرَّنَّكُمُ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا Don't let the worldly life deceive you and play tricks on you. It's very true. The Qiyamah will happen no matter what. The only true friendship is a person who befriends another for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are who your friends are. أَنْتَ مَعَ مَنْ أَحْبَبْتَ أو الْمَرْءُ مَعَ مَنْ أَحَبْتَ you are with whom you love. On the day of judgment, you will be with whom you love. Oh, we want to be like those whom when death comes to them, they regret. When death comes to them, Maybe I'll do one good deed. Allah says, Kalla, never. Innaha kalimatun is just words you're saying them. You had 60 years, you had 40 years, you had 50 years. What did you do? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look at his knowledge. He said, if I was to give these people a second chance to come back to this life, where they will relive a new life, they would have done the same thing. They would have rejected Allah the same way. Allah tells us, look how we give preference to some slaves over others. Look how we make some of our slaves like this and others like that. Some will be in paradise, others will be in the hellfire when they will die. Some will be happy in their graves. Some will wait and beg for the establishment of the hour. Rabbi Aqim al Rabbi Aqim al oh my Lord. That is the last day. I'm going to meet you, oh Allah. The Messenger of Allah so tells us, Man ahabu liqa Allah, ahabu Allah liqa. Wa man kariha liqa Allah, he kariha Allah liqa wa liya Whom you adore, whom you look up to, you will be with those people on the day of judgment when you are resurrected and in Jannah. In Al-Jannah, you'll be in close proximity to the prophets and the messengers. In the Jannah, you'll be with your children and your wife and your relatives, inshallah. In the Jannah, you have whatever you ask for. When you stand up, the trees and the fruit of the tree that are low, when you sit down, they come down with you. When stand up, they stand up. Pearls, gold, the stabarak, all these things, embroidery in the Jannah, all of these things. We can never give Jannah and describe it the true haq that it deserves. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Hadith Al-Qudsi, that He had prepared for His righteous servants. That He has prepared for His righteous slaves that which the eye has never seen, the ears has never heard, and the heart can never conceive.